Good evening, everyone at Wrightsville and Oleander United Methodist. I hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy and that you enjoyed a beautiful Easter celebrating our risen Lord. I miss seeing my church family. Hopefully we'll be able to worship together again soon. Until then, it's wonderful to be able to hear sermons and stay connected online. I'm Michelle Clark, and tonight's devotion, again, comes from Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. It's titled, God Can't Add Beautiful Things to Our Hearts If There's No Room in Our Lives. The scripture comes from Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? It's a little alarming to do an inventory of all your stuff when it comes time to move. We think it's going to be a breeze and then open a closet and find stacks of high school yearbooks piled on top of boxes with 20 year old bank statements. Then we rediscover attic storage we had forgotten about packed tight with broken lamps, old tennis shoes, picture frames, and pool cues for a pool table we don't even own. How do we acquire so much stuff without our awareness? To push back against my hoarder tendencies, every time I move, I give away as much as I can and vow to keep space open for more beautiful things to be added. If we want to make room for beautiful things to be added to our lives, we have to get rid of some of the old stuff. This doesn't apply to just the physical things. It applies to the hurts and memories we collect over time. Just like our closets fill up, our schedules slowly fill up with every yes we give. It's all good stuff. It's hard to say no. It's like drowning in chocolate. Even when our time is packed with great people and opportunities, we have got to learn to pump the brakes and make some room. The sweetest moments in life happen unannounced. Their long drives down country roads in autumn, or hikes that leave room for exploration. Their quiet evenings with people you love when you can sit together in silence and still feel heard. God can't add beautiful things to our hearts if there's no room in our lives. What will you quit so you can get some rest? You'll never regret making space for the treasures you've been too busy to cherish. And the question it asks is, what do you need to let go of so you can make some space for what's truly good and beautiful? Today's devotion seems perfect for what we're going through right now. We've been forced to give up so many things we're used to in our daily lives. My hope and prayer is that we are embracing this time and appreciating God's beautiful blessings. Grace and peace to you all.